There's one other issue that we want to go through here, which exposes something else about normalization, or what I would call what normalization does not do. You may have seen this already, but let's look at price. Now you may recall that when we looked on our form that there was only one price. And we can see here this suggests that every item has a price. We eliminated item total because we said we would calculate quantity times price. But we've got a problem, a serious one. Should the price change, then we would have lost our historical ability to regenerate the price or the total amount of an old item. But what has gone wrong? Has normalization failed us? Well, it hasn't because of the following. What is wrong, what went wrong, is not normalization's fault. What went wrong is that we need an order item price. This suggests that there are really two prices. There is the price of the item itself, and there's the price at the time of the order. And what this really suggests, and what you must remember, and will happen to you from time to time, is that normalization will only normalize the data it has. The fact remains that you didn't give it this item, this, this element. Therefore, it had no ability to normalize it. So, if anything, normalization perhaps allowed us to uncover it. With the insertion of this element, it would also go into the data dictionary, and we would indeed have a third normal form entity relational diagram.